What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You are know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe to stay updated with everything this channel has to offer. Guys, you've made it to episode 3 of Brownie Points, the show where we bring in brown, South Asian, Persian individuals now um, and show that there are careers that you don't have to go into that are related to doctors, engineers, lawyers, that you can actually do something creative and bring in and we showcase these success stories. Guys, we have the man, and I think a lot of you can relate to what he's been through and what he's going through, um, who has dropped out of med school to follow his art and dreams. Guys, it's none other than Matthew Miz. Matthew, my guy, bro. Wow. Thank you so much That's for fun. being here, brother. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to be here. Dude, of course, <laughs> man. Of course. It's a beautiful introduction. It, it, <laughs> Thank hey, you, man. It's a Thank beautiful you, man. introduction. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much, dude. So how, how are you, man? Like, how is it? Are you, are you based in... Florida or you went to school in Florida? I went to school in Florida. I'm based in LA now. Based in LA? I've been living in LA for about two years. I'm a little, nice. I'm a little over LA. I feel a little LA'd out. I feel really? like I want to leave somewhere. Um, oh, man. Yeah, but I like, like, it's like, uh, I'm from New York originally. New York gotcha. City is like where my soul is. Like, that's where my, my heart. But yeah, man, so med school, right? Obviously, yeah. you know, like we've talked and like, I, I know that your story sort of um, about how you sort of dropped out and uh, are pursuing your passions, your dreams. And, and it's, it's a really inspirational message, man. Honestly, like being able to do that, taking that big step to like drop out. Um, I guess like my question for you is like, what got you into med school in the first place? Like, were you always sort of interested in med school, med school track and like, you just like deviated in med school or like, have you always had this sort of creative like heart in you? Right. So basically I would say growing up, like I always loved music. Like music was the thing I yeah. loved in my heart more than anything in the world. Gotcha. Um, but like whenever I'll talk to my family about music, it was not, it just, it wasn't, no, it was, it, was, it was, they weren't fun conversations, you know, like the first gotcha. time told my mom, like, Hey, I want to learn how to DJ. Like her reaction was like, it was really bad. Like it was really? Like, oh man. Yeah, it was, it was not, it was not <laughs> and I was like, Oh my God, I didn't know this is that bad of me. <laughs> oh man. And, uh, I, I was persistent. I ended up DJing in college. Um, and, and I love, I love, I love music always, like always yeah. is the thing. But my biggest thing is I always wanted to help people. Like that was my biggest thing. Like, like yeah. I want to help people. Like I want people to see the best in themselves. Like that's, that, that's what I believe like is, is a part of me and like what I'm meant mm -hmm. to do in this world. And medicine is a way you can do that. So I was attracted mm -hmm. to it, you know, cause, cause you can do that. Right. Um, right. But I always felt like. Like, it, it was just whenever I talked to my family or whoever about it, mm -hmm. it was just like, it, if you don't do medicine, what else are you going to do? Like, because medicine gotcha. is a very straightforward path. Like, it's hard mm -hmm. path. Without yeah. a doubt, it's hard. It's hard. But it's straightforward, you know? Like, you get your mm -hmm. A's, you take your MCAT, you go to med school, you do med school, mm -hmm. you do residency, and you're done. And, like, you're just yeah. keep doing that. And, like, you, you right. know you can make at least... Two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars a year, like, yeah. like it's very set, you know. It's yeah, very, yeah, pretty, pretty like straightforward. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you have to do, but then like, yeah, you know, like, music, creative, it's like you have no fucking. There's no blueprint. Yeah, like, yeah. Self, and it is completely like that. And and I get you know for like Persian, like I'm Persian Jewish, right? So my family they left Iran during the revolution, so they gotcha. grew up with uncertainty. They grew up in like having to escape very uncertain times so to them having a very straightforward safe path yeah. makes so much sense like it's like of course you should definitely do the safe thing like yeah yeah because you never know what might happen because like exactly their trauma, in their experience you know right right no i um, hear that yeah and then so when i was in uh college i dj'd a lot and mm -hmm. that was a beautiful experience and i was really good at it like i was like there's a part of me that believes that if i really took it serious like balls yeah. to the ball like it could have really gone somewhere. Like the first time I yeah. did it was at this club downtown and like it was popping. It was popping. And then oh, like man, the dude, he was like, yo, I want you to open up for the chain smokers next week. And that was when the chain smokers what? were like low That's key. Insane. And I was like, but I have a gen cam test the next day. I can't do that. Yeah. And it was oh. it was always stuff like that. It was like but that was like self sabotage. Like there's this yeah, thing yeah. that you can stuff. There's just self sabotage. And gotcha. it's like you yourself over. Like you're your own worst enemy. Like when you do something. Facts, like, bro. And Facts. but but like non non-creative, you're not your own worst enemy. Cause like you just know what you have to do and then you do it. 
Right, right. Um, so yeah, so I always wanted to do music. I was always scared. I and then, uh, but I like medicine. I liked it. Like I did. Yeah. It got me gotcha. to, to do it enough, you know, and then I went to medical school. And when I was in medical school, I remember the first day. Like, I remember the first day, I was just like, oh. I was just like. Really? Oh. I knew. Like, I knew the first day, this is not for me. Like, I knew. Wow. It was, That's it was insane. In anatomy, yeah. yeah, like, it was in anatomy lecture. And uh, it was Dr. Champion. Great guy. Phenomenal yeah. guy. He helped me a lot. <laughs> Honestly, like as a human, because I had gotcha. like, was a trip, and mm-hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, I can talk to He did a lot of research on melatonin. Like he was the melatonin guy, and I had yeah. in med school. So like I like went to him, like, hey, I was having sleeping problems. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and, and he was really, like, Loki just like dealing melatonin on the side. <laughs> No, it wasn't good, but he was like, he knew his stuff, you know? He yeah, like, yeah, for him. sure. Um, but he, he was great. And then, but yeah, it was the first day. And I remember, like, I was studying with some newfound classmates. And, and uh, their perspective was like, wow, this is such a blessing. As hard as this is, like, we're going to be doctors. And in yeah. my head, I was like, yo, that's the last thing on my mind. And, <laughs> I, was, it was like, and I just felt immediately there's a strong disconnect between your brain and yeah. my brain about this whole process <laughs> oh my god that's so funny oh my gosh yeah. bro that's insane man like just the first day right out the gate man you kind of you kind of it kind of hits you day, man. i like knew, i called all the doctors i knew like every doctor i knew and yeah. i was like are you happy being a doctor like every single one i'm like really and then every single one wow. had to think about it like they all had to think like am i happy and I'm like, bitch, you should know yeah. if you're happy. Like, you should have to think about the shit. I'm about to do this shit, shit for God knows how long. And you don't know, if you're happy, like, this is not okay. <laughs> Bro, if they have to think about it, that's when you know it's already, like, a problem. Yeah, they all have to, like, genuinely be like, yeah, I'm happy. You know, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. If you're not really happy, you should be like, fuck bro, yeah, I'm excited. Exactly. This is the best job ever. I um, feel that. Damn, bro, that's mad. Like, yeah. I guess so, like, were you... Because, like, you know, once you had that disconnect, right, like, first day at the gate, you know, you're like, damn, like, this might not be for me. Did you have that feeling beforehand, like, in college, like, undergrad, studying for the MCAT? Because that's, like, big steps, you know what I'm saying? Like, you obviously have to put on so much time into that. Yes and no. Like, yes. My thought was, like, I would get to. Like, it was, like, when I was, like, doing research at an orthopedic surgery lab, right? Yeah, yeah. And I remember the orthopedic surgeon would come and like talk about like his cases and la la la. And like, I would just be in the back of my head, like, how the fuck am I gonna do that? Like, it was just, <laughs> like, I was just like, yo, how the fuck am I gonna do that? <laughs> Bro. But the That's other so part funny. of me was like, I'll do it. Yeah, like, yeah I'll, so like, I'll figure it out. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> What's that? Um, and then, yeah, but that, that happened a lot. Like that happened. Yeah, th- there was always that piece in me. It was always that yeah. piece. I was like, how am I going to do this? Like, it just, it was. But I think, you know, hindsight is like, like mm-hmm. I would say, you know, now I took a, enough time away from medicine in order to really understand, like, my my own self and understanding. And, like, if I were to do it, like, like therapy is something that I really could see myself genuinely enjoying and, like, gotcha. genuinely really loving. Like really, like really. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. Part of me, I think, it's like, yo, in like twenty years, like, I should go be a therapist. Like, right, like, right. Like, that, that's still part. Of me. But this, uh, but this, but what I'm doing right now is, is a little more exciting, and it's a little. Yeah, man. I mean, you're more. young too, man. And uh-huh. I'm glad that like, I said you're young too, and I'm glad yeah. that like you know you found that sort of path because, dude, a lot of people go through it, man, and they're stuck, you know? Like, they can't, act, like, once you have, like, a wife and kids, bro, you can't leave that. And it's like, hey, I'm dropping out of, like, my career to be, like, an actor or, like, a DJ, you know? Like, Todd, to explain that to your wife and kids, bro, it's not gonna end well for you. You know what I'm saying? So it's good that you're able to find that. Bro, I was gonna say, man, I relate so hard to you right now, man. I just graduated undergrad this May, but, like, I DJ, and, like, I started a DJ club in my, my college, um, and, bro, I, I'm also on the pre-med track, like, I'm studying for the MCAT right now, but, like, man, I felt that, though, like, you know, I had to cancel gigs because, like, I had an exam the next day, or, like, I had to do this or that, bro, it was, like, such an L, um, and, like, even for me, man, I'm not 100% in med school, I'm 100% in taking the MCAT because it's kind of, like, a mental game for me, it's, like, I want to see, like, I want to really, like, you know, push it to see if I can do this, you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. But like, yeah, man, I, I relate to that hardcore, man. Like, it's like it's some real shit, man. I feel like a lot of people go through it. Um, a lot of people do, and I just wish, you know, and that's what I feel like my purpose is. You know, I feel like my purpose is to people for like people to just like genuinely do what they want in life. Like, I think yeah. it is yeah. hard, and the, and it is a lot of like self parenting. Like, I think that's what you really have to do. You have to become your own parent, which is honestly mm -hmm. the hardest thing in the whole entire world. But um, it's very rewarding, and I think the world will be a much happier place if more people just take the time to like love themselves and figure themselves out, figure out what they want to do, not take everything so seriously. Yeah, get way too serious. And dude, um, that, yeah, I hear that, man. That's actually really that's like such a nice thing to say, man. Honestly, like being able to find yourself and like you know, I, I mess with that a lot. That that's dope, man. That's dope. Um, when you. I guess like when you decided to drop out of that med school, like obviously you have to, you know, tell your parents and tell people around you. I don't know what the Persian community is like, bro, but the Indian community, man, like, that wouldn't, that wouldn't <laughs> fly too much. Well. Like, what was that like? Like, you know, making that call to your mom or your dad and like letting them know like, hey, this is like, I'm, yeah. I'm about to just drop the ball right now and do this. I mean, it was a process. It wasn't a one Yeah, thing. It was... So I was in med school and it got bad. Like as a human, like yeah. I was not okay. Like I saw the bottom of how life can go personally. Well, I'm not gotcha. the bottom, but it was pretty bad. Yeah. It was like, yeah, yeah. It was like I had like in school, like I just would have trouble sleeping. So I had the genius idea, like I'm gonna start smoking weed to, to like, yeah. to like yeah, I guess it's gonna work. <laughs> so I started smoking weed. Yeah. And it worked for three months. It yeah. worked. Phenomenal. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I would, like, it would hit 11 p.m. Like, I would work from 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. Like, study yeah. the person. Then I would, like, smoke and I would play Dragon Ball Z. And I would pass <laughs> the fuck out like a baby. And then I would wake up and I would have these special shots. They had these things called coladas. Okay. So I have these coladas. It's like, it's, it's Cuban espresso. It's, 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 it's like, it's not healthy. But I would yeah, have sure. then, like, yeah, yeah. my day again. And that that class, I did really well. Like I had, like, mm -hmm. like I got a ninety nine in that class. Like, wow! Ooh, yeah, yeah, good. Damn. Like it was good. I was good. I'm like, oh, this yeah. is beat things amazing. And then <laughs> it stopped working. It stopped working. And I remember it was before my pathology exam. We had a pathology yeah. exam, and I'm like, I'm gonna get like a good ten hours of sleep. Tonight. Like, I'm gonna get. And so I like I smoked my weed. I went to and I couldn't fall asleep. And I remember it was like four hours before the test. And I just looked in the mirror and I'm like, yo, who the fuck are you? Like, I, I, that's what I felt. Wow, I, was yeah. like, I, was like, I was like, yo, this is not me. Like, it's like, this isn't okay. And so then by the miracles of God, I slept for like two hours and I did well on that test. I was very, mm -hmm. I was happy. Hey, but, but, hey, it, yeah. but then I, I had insomnia. So then like, I just couldn't sleep. Like it was just not a consistent thing. And I had gotcha. crazy anxiety like, all the time. My heart would just like beep, beep, blah, blah, blah. and it was it was really bad. It was just not okay. And I would go to different like I like I went to the school counselor. I went to mm -hmm. a psychiatrist. I went to a therapist. A bunch of people, and like none of it. Yeah, it just it wasn't wasn't help. And then yeah, the yeah. psychiatrist though, like. I ended up taking Xanax one time to like go to mm -hmm. sleep. Like I yeah, knew something yeah. like that, and I was like, "Yo, like please, like I just need this right now." And yeah, so yeah. then like I had like half of the pill and I passed it. And then from the psychiatrist, I then got a, like it wasn't Xanax, but something similar to Xanax. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I like was so terrified to use it, but like I would have it like every like two or three times a week to just like uh -huh. sleep. So it, was, it was the only thing. And then during this time, I was like, I need to make music out. Like, like that, that was it. I was like, I was like, I need to get out, and I need to, I need to do music. Like, I, yeah. yeah. And so then I emailed different people in the music industry, and um, one of them was this guy Anthony Kilhoffer. Like my biggest, like my favorite artist growing up was Kanye West. Like I love Kanye yeah. West, favorite in the whole entire world. Like inspired me more than anything. Like beyond. And mm. I knew a lot of people on his team and things like that. Anthony was one of them. And then Anthony wow. he discovered Travis Scott. And so Travis, the way he got discovered was he just emailed this guy Anthony and then that was it. And so really? like, wow. was like yeah, so I was like, he checks his email. Like that was the reason why. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. it. I was like, that's all you need. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what he it. And so then uh, he ended up responding. He ended up responding and then I ended up 
um, like, yeah, like he ended up responding. He was like, yo, what do you know about music? Da, 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 da. Like we Zoom, we, we FaceTime. Zoom wasn't it. Yeah, yeah. FaceTime. And then I was horrible on that FaceTime. I was horrific. It was horrific. Yeah. I, was such a fan. I was like, yeah. Out. And then um, I didn't hear back from him for like a week. And then like I emailed him again, like, hey, what can mm-hmm. I do? Uh, and like, he was like, I don't know how you could be useful in any way. And I was like, oh, shit. And he so said that? Damn. And so then I like emailed like every application I knew and how I could help and da da da. Yeah, and yeah. Then, and then he responded. And then I was like, and then we had a neuro exam. We had a neuro, and that, and you know, because at this point, you know, I was so, like, like at this point, I was so down. That like, yeah. when you're that down. It's like, you just need hope. And this was like my hope. Like, this was hope. So I was willing to do anything. Gotcha. Um, like, I think desperation, like, I missed that a little bit because it, it's a big motivator. Like, I don't have that anymore, but it was very motivating. Gotcha. And then um, I ended up, uh, like, taking a neuro exam. So I had a neuro exam. Mm-hmm. And I did really well. Like, I did really well. And I was like, all right, I'm just going to go to L.A. tomorrow because, like, I found out my score. Yeah. Like, I any side of and I'm like, all right, like, I'm just going to go to L.A. and, like, yeah, like, yeah. Take it. Like it was like, cause I was like, yo, if there was a, like, if this like middle school me had a 5% chance of making this happen, he would do it. So I need to do it. So I, I like told Damn. the dude like, yo, I have a, um, there's a, like, there's a, my friend's birthday. I'm coming to LA for a friend's birthday. There was no friend, but I was like, oh, <laughs> it's <too> crazy. So <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> and then we ended up getting brunch. And then after brunch, he was like, yeah, intern. And um, that's what happened. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, and then from that point on, it w- it wasn't like a question of med school. Like at that point, I was like, I need to make time. Like yeah, it yeah. was complete focus. And I think, you know, like it wasn't even a conversation with my family. Like, like, like it was a conversation like one time, but it wasn't like a asking for permission. It was like, I'm doing this. And it, it was, was like, like, I'm going to go do yeah, this. It was like, I'm thing. doing this. Yeah. It's like, it's like, because cause I saw how bad it got for me. Like, I saw, like, I was yeah. experienced. Like, I had the insomnia. Like, there would be nights where I would, like, not be able to sleep, and I will call my family, and then they will be like, but you have great grades. Like, and you're in med school. Like, what, like, mm-hmm. you, should, you should be happy. Like, like, anyone in your position would be happy. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not. Like, it's like, I'm not. Like, I just didn't sleep last night, and I have to go through a full day of this med school shit. And, like, yeah, this is yeah. what I want in life more than anything. You know, like more than yeah, anything. yeah, and that that desperation made me have this unbelievable focus, like this unbelievable focus of I will do literally whatever it takes to make mm-hmm. this happen, and I did, and and like and I really did, like it was not there was no there was no there was no opinion that I was gonna get, mm-hmm. it was, it was no and I missed that about myself, like because I think the last two years doing like like being in the music industry, da, 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 yeah, yeah, I like definitely reverted more to some of my old patterns of behavior and stuff, and I need to get more of that like you're not gonna tell me what the fuck to do attitude. Yeah, yeah, that's where the money is. Like I've seen time and time again. Like that's where then you go and you explode and like everything in your life comes true. Um, Damn. Oh yeah. 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 Then I enter for Anthony. He was like, yo, you want to start a company together? I was like, sure, I'd love to start a company together. I then was then it became like a game plan of how to how to leave medical school. Like that was essentially the game plan and like how yeah, to yeah. so like cause that was a part of it too. Cause right, I wanted right. to tell them, I'm going to LA to start a record label. Like I was like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, so like understand. Exactly. <laughs> so, I ended up was like, all right, I'm gonna go to business school. I'm like, cause if it's not business school, business. We <laughs> need some school, some fucking yeah, school. school. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> oh my and god. I I was like, all right, I'm gonna go to UCLA or USC. Like, I'm going one of them. I know I get into one of them. So yeah. Then I, I ended up getting into both. I ended all up right. going to UCLA business school, and then that gave me a leave of absence from medical school. So then mm. I did business school for a quarter, for like one quarter. Cause I remember I was doing business school and my business partner, he was in the studio with like Sheck Less, right? And yeah. I remember I had a, and this was like when Mo Bombo was popping. Like this was like yeah, when yeah. Mo Bombo was like in every place, like Mo Bombo. Yeah. And then, you know, I'm like, okay. 
I'm studying for my statistics exam right now. Yeah. But I could be in student. Like, it's like, I'm like, this is not, this is not the best use of my time. Right, and right. So then, but I really like business school. Business school is great. Like, I actually highly recommend it. It was just beautiful. Mm-hmm. You see, like, great job. But I was nice. like, <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, yeah. I, I was like, I, I need to stop doing this because like it just didn't make sense. And so then yeah, yeah. I went all in on on the company, and it was, it was, it was, it was working. You know, like it definitely worked. Like it worked. Um, we started throwing events across the country. Like that was what yeah. became the business primarily. Like we released some music, it did well. One song went viral. Hey, um, hell yeah. Yeah, it was it was good. You know, and yeah, and, yeah. And, the events like that became my focus like the events really became mm. my biggest focus um and we started doing it across the country like we did in la we did in atlanta we did in boston we did in indiana we did in wow. wisconsin some other city new york new york was popping like it, yeah, it, was, yeah. it was honestly it was like, all right the dreams are coming true like that, that that's how it felt a little bit and yeah then yeah our time, we fuck shit up oh um, yeah but at the same time, like it made it dope because it was like, all right, because um, it made me just reevaluate exactly who I am, what I want in life, and like what, like what I want to do. And I learned mm-hmm. with the company, you you can you you can't really be, well, you, yeah, it's like you're more a leader of business, like you know, mm-hmm. and that that was cool. But I think what I really want out of life is to be a leader of a message, and I think that's I like what that, I, yeah you can do through art like you can't do it through a business because through business it's like you're going to have employees you're going to have people and it's like you know sometimes your message isn't going to relate to everyone you know it just right right then you're going to rub people the wrong way and it's like when you're running a business like you want to be a little more politically correct and you want to be a little like you know like lean on the side yeah of, yeah like, like to not pay them at all but um with with you know a leader of a message like it's like i think that's how you really can really like make change and make difference in the world and so that's now like what i want to do like my focus yeah and it's like i feel like i'm exactly where i started two years ago like when i first moved to la which uh-huh. is a little exciting um yeah but it's dope it's dope dude that's so sick man that's like such a great message to pass on and it's kind of nice to hear that like because your story is like you know a kid right who like who's done well in med school like you know a lot of people like they exhibit like you know depressive symptoms and all this and that but like if they're not not doing well in school or they do something or the other but like this is like an example of like you've done everything like you got into med school you're like doing well in med school yet you still had that like creative heart to like you know that was like kind of chasing you the other way which is amazing like honestly like finding your true self in that way it's incredible man that's that's really dope and i applaud you for like being able to like make that step because i can only imagine how insane that must have been and like how scary that must have been too just like leaving like you know a, like you said like a steady path of like whatever to like a, like this crazy path that you like you're just like i don't know like diving into or whatever that's like that's really dope man that's really dope i appreciate it i appreciate yeah, it yeah man so yeah bro of course so like when so when you went to la right and you met this dude and like you guys decided to start this company was that when you're sort of like were your parents kind of like all right you know like i understand that like this is like did, were they like understanding of like what you were doing or like did it take a little bit of like, th- like showing like the actual like physical like, this is how much I'm making. This is like what I'm doing. Like the actual I substance. Care. I didn't care. I they didn't really, care. Like it really. Oh, you didn't care. Okay. Yeah, I didn't care. It was just very like focused. It was just like. Yeah, yeah. It was like I've lived the way that was I was taught for so long, mm-hmm. and it led me to a very unhappy life. And I see so yeah. many people who live this way that they're taught. And they all live such unhappy lives. Like it's like yeah, I, don't care yeah. how much money you have, I don't care how who you're marrying, where the wedding is, where you're going to kick school, blah, 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 job. You know, yeah, I, yeah. I keep in their eyes, and and, you, and they can't lie to it. You know, you can't. Mm-hmm. And it's like you see it in their soul. Like you just right. do. Like, and then it's yeah. like I want to subscribe to this life and have this stuff, but like it's a game that like so many people aren't actually having. It's just a game mm-hmm. that like it's it's nice like it's it's presentable it's like presentable you know there's so many people in yeah. the jewish community that like all they do is talk shit about other per- people in the Persian jewish community it's like, <laughs> it's like, really like the indian community people, too right? bro I like, swear. Like, are you really happy and you know like, yeah i'm grateful you know like yeah like you know it's like and, th- and that's one thing that i'm really starting to learn with what i with like 
my own artistic endeavors, you know? It's like, yeah, it's yeah. Creators. Like, they're going to come out. They already have. Like, I, like, mm. I, have, I have no. Really? I, yeah. <laughs> 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 like, you know, to you, these jokes on my TikTok are like, oh, it's some dude who's, like, pretending to be a doctor. Like, this is fucking hilarious, right? Like, that's probably what goes through your mind. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? You know, some <laughs> other people, that's not what goes through their mind. And, you know, like, <laughs> Label me as a sexist, as a misogynistic, as a um, racist. Someone call me an anti Semite. Bro, I'm fucking Jewish. And they're going to come. You know? oh like, that's God. That I'm still like uh, accepting as part of the process. But yeah. You know, it makes it all the more significant and it makes it all the more beautiful because it's like that's the reason why so many people aren't chasing their dreams because there are these dream killers who will literally pull whatever from out their ass to make yeah, them look like man. a bad person. And, you know, and I think that's, that's what I'm fighting against. And that's now yeah, what man. I really believe, like, my, my point is, you know, and, like, I hope to just inspire other people to, like, really find out what life means for them, you know, or at least just go on that journey because it's, like, it's scary as fuck because you don't have the answers. No one does because the answers you were mm-hmm. taught are something you don't believe in yourself. And so you can't go to your parents to talk about it. You can't go to like, your friend to talk about it. You know, you're going to have yeah. to let go of a lot of things, a lot of people. And that's really terrifying. You're going to have yeah, to yeah. let go of everything that's familiar to go to this place that you don't even know if it's going to work out because you don't mm-hmm. know you've done it and you know you're just feeling really lonely. But that's what I think, like, what I – like that, that's that, that's what I feel drawn to do, and that's what I feel like. Yeah, I'm yeah. Make right on, man. Right on, right on. You know, I uh, so I interviewed Usama Siddiqui, who's like a comedian. Um, just was on America's Got Talent recently. Um, I don't know if you've ever like seen his stuff or at all, but mm-hmm. like he explained this really well. Like exactly kind of what you were saying. Like, bro, like a lot of the time, these haters are like people who like have not been able to like get to that level that you have of like finding who they are and like chasing their dreams. So in turn, they like try to make you not chase your dreams so then they, you kind of fit in on their path you know what i'm saying yeah. it's like crazy bro it's like and, and it's insane that you get so much hate and stuff from like your videos like i don't know why people would like you know what i'm saying like, about me in the miami times bro what they wrote about me in the miami times what I'm like what, <laughs> <laughs> what that's insane what the hell bro, you google my name like the third thing that comes up now is like university what? of miami denounces tiktok doctor misogynist doctor and i'm just like misogynist I, I, I doctor huh? I was like, damn i was like are you kidding like i was just like at first you know i was just like that's insane but then oh. you know like i think it's something honestly like it's like it's like it, it just shows how more significant this is like it's like you know it's like, bro, <laughs> you have a whole article like, dedicated to you man you're doing something like, right i mean probably <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like you know, it, yeah, and like I think with hate, it's like I think a lot of it is like there's so much more productivity you can do. Like cancel culture is definitely a thing. yeah, like it's a hard one. Yeah. And I think it's crazy. You no, know, you, you could use that energy. Like why not like create groups where you can do group zooms with everyone who feels this way, and then like understand yeah. each other, and like yeah, try and yeah, figure your life and talk about your childhood. You know, because I think so many people they just like yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't no, know. No, I hear that man. Culture stuff, but. I've That's definitely, I, I've, like, I've been affected by it, and it's yeah, you know, yeah, definitely disorienting at first. Like the other mm-hmm. dude said, it's very disorienting because right, you get right, lost in it. you know, you get lost in other people's opinions. But at the end of the day, it just makes it forces you to become a lot sharper and a lot stronger in in what you're doing, and it sort of lets you know like what you're up against. But in reality, the only thing you're up against is yourself. Because at the end of the day, all you gotta do is just turn your phone off. If you don't turn your phone on, you're never gonna see a single thing that they're gonna say. That's yeah. facts, bro. That's a, that's that's deep, bro. That's hella deep. <laughs> gotta <laughs> gotta shut off, bro. Um, dude, I guess like so you talked a lot about like you know how you were like you know making that step into like finding who you are and things like that. You know, chasing your artistic passions and goals and whatnot. Like you're in a space of sort of like, I mean like being alone kind of like you know you said you had to like get rid of like a lot of these people that were sort of talking in one ear talk you know trying to talk you out of things but like in the end of the day you're your own boss right you have to do what you have to do how would you like if you were to advise someone watching this video right now like who's in that similar state of mind of like yo like i don't know if i should take this leap of faith or not like what got you to actually like you know knowing that like this is like super unknown like i don't know what's going to happen like what actually like got you to that point 
And like any advice for someone who's like in that ring, desperation. desperation. Your desperation is what got me. Like I think if I was safe, like like because pre med was safe, I was able to. Yeah, do yeah. That, you know, med school. Yeah, yeah. I, it was like I, I was desperate. You know, it was desperation. And 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 in that moment, it was like I have to. I have to do this, and it was just a focus. It was a focus. Yeah. Unlike anything else I've ever experienced, honestly, and I and I'm chasing it again because I know mm -hmm. that's what I need in order to make this new stuff. Yeah, um, yeah. I need that, so like I'm in training mode again, like in. Hey, hey mode. hell yeah! But um, it was desperation, you know. For me, it was that desperation. But I think for people who are watching, you know, it's understanding that, you know, even if you're not like completely rock bottom or whatever, like it's like. Yeah. I think there's things you can do on a daily basis to give yourself that faith. Like that's mm -hmm. what it is. You need hope and you need faith, and um, and you need and you need self belief. Like you need to believe you can do it. Like you, like other people believe in you when you believe in it unapologetically. When you believe in it unapologetically, your crowd will come around, mm -hmm. and and they will. You know, they will. And yeah. You'll be surprised at who they are. You will be surprised, but they do come. And um, I think in order to like get to that place of self-belief and like unapologetic knowing who you are it's you know it's for me it's these three things like one it's therapy like i think mm -hmm. having a safe space you could talk with someone like and just figure it all out is 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 dope um mm -hmm. if yeah I'm looking for a therapist i highly recommend like trying out different ones like try out mm -hmm. like three or four and then choose the one that that you fuck with because like mm -hmm. it, it's it's a uh, the person you have, it makes a difference. Like it does. Like it's like it just Yeah, does. yeah. Um, and then working out. I think working out, you know, it's a very meditative experience. It's a very you it's like it's like what life is, you know, it's like every day you go to this place, you're gonna work hard, you know, the results are not gonna come immediately. Some days will mm -hmm. be better than others, some days you'll feel better in mood than others, but at the end of the day you're gonna give it all you got. And then you know, that's a practice because life is a practice. And I think whatever, mm -hmm. you, whatever you want to end up pursuing is a practice. You know, it's like it's a it, it's a practice. Yeah. And yeah. Then the third thing is meditate, like meditation. Like I think meditate, like meditation, you know, it's like like it calms the voices. Like I think what everyone, I don't know everyone, but I think a lot of people our age or like people who went through our stuff, you know, it's yeah, like yeah. those voices in your head is the voice of like, it's all it's all like your child like that's what it is yeah like yeah a child in you who wanted to grow a certain way and then you get certain love from their mommy and daddy and now they expect the world to give it to them in some way that they hope mm -hmm. not and yeah it allows you to like really go through the life experiences that you had the traumas the good stuff you know all the mm -hmm. stuff you really make sense of it and figure out your own path and figure out what you want to do that day to like optimize whatever you want to optimize Gotcha. So do those two things. Hell yeah, dude. Those are like, yeah, that's, that's really awesome. I, when have you, like, do you meditate often? Yeah, every day. Every day. Wow. That's yeah. awesome, man. I was going to say, I just like, I never really got into meditation, but recently I read this book called The Illuminated Mind, if you've ever heard of it or not. But like, mm -hmm. dude, it's like, it's dope, man. It's this dude, he's like a neuroscientist and like talks a lot about like spiritual like beliefs and like, you know, getting to that state of mind. It's like, it's hella dope, man. I'd recommend it if you're into, into that kind of stuff. Really? It's called the Illuminated Mind. I can like shoot you a text a bit, like yeah, after this, if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's dope, man. It's dope. Um, bro, that's dope, man. I appreciate you like giving like all this like advice to like you know. I feel like this is like a lot of like enriching stuff, especially someone who's like like you who's like been through it all. Like you know, now you're sort of like like building your like artistic like the your persona almost, you know, which is dope, yeah. man. So I guess like, I want to kind of switch gears and talk to you about like, you know, what are you up to, man? Like what kind of artistic stuff are you doing? Like, what's your, like, are you like producing music or like, where are you, where are you at right now? So right, in now, terms of art at, right now is, so I, yeah, this is where I'm at. So right now I've developed the game plan for how to like get the music popping. So at the end of the day, what I want to do is music, but I've seen that yeah, TikTok yeah. is the greatest way in the whole entire world to make yourself go viral. There's yeah. no mm -hmm. just, um, and so my thought so at first i just had that one character the doctor character and like i was doing that on feeling Miz, and like it was working yeah, um, yeah and then i learned though you know the cancel culture is a little intense so my yeah. thought was like all right i'm gonna have like different characters now because my thought yeah. is like, like i want to like because then so this is the whole gameplay like 
I sort of want to keep you back. Who knows who watch? So basically, the whole entire yeah. thing, I want to make an album called The Beautiful Mess I Made. Because I think the whole entire thing of life is like, it's a beautiful mess. Like, you know, it's like I saw this one video of this little kid on the internet one time and like he made a huge mess in the living room. Like, there was paint everywhere and it was like totally mm-hmm. fucked up. And then the mom comes and is like, What'd you do? What'd you do? And then uh, she's like, She's like, Why'd you do this? And then he's like, Because I was mad and crying. And then, um, and then, he, she was like, why'd you do it? Why'd you do it? And, yeah. uh, it was big mess. and then he's like, because it's beautiful. And then she was just like, what? And the kids <laughs> like, beautiful. And I saw that and I was just like, yo, like, that's, that's life. That's dope, man. That is, that's dope. Like, like I saw that and I'm like, that's, yeah. you know, that, that's life. Like it's like, you know, and, and I think that's what so many people are afraid to do. They're scared to get messy. They're scared to fuck up. They're scared for people to think they're whatever, you know? And at the end of the day, how can you ever find yourself out if you're not gonna go to the extremes of whatever you think is of whatever, you know, yeah. you can't ever find yourself out unless you do that shit, you know. And, and I had no idea, like the people or whatever, like like you know, because it's a beautiful mess, you know. It's like from the <laughs> article to the shows to uh, to you know, like to just having people DM me saying like, hey, like I want to be a doctor, like how come you dropped out? Can you give me advice? You know, like. Like to that, to like having some interns like who are really dope and like what, like telling me their things and their projects, you know. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Like, like having relationships that failed, having beautiful like it's all this beautiful mess, you know. It's all yeah, like, yeah. That then, that I made to then create me, you know. And so my thought was like, all right, that that's what the album's gonna be. You know, what's the smartest way of doing about it? And I'm like, all right, well, there's different parts of my personality, right? Like there are mm-hmm. different parts. There's like. Yeah. There's just different parts. And so my thought is, all right, on TikTok, I'm going to have those different parts be the characters. So there's the I doctor see, one, yeah. right? There's the doctor one. And then there's a Persian Jewish one who is like, uh, who's a philosopher, like, right? So yeah. He's like, he's got Rumi. So my thought was like, all right, I'm going to make Juni and I'm going to talk about like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like, do all my Persian Jews. And then there's a couple more other characters that haven't been up. But one of them is going to be this British dude who's like the proper one, right? And he's like, uh-huh. oh, you can do that. Like, da, da, da. You know, so like, <laughs> the doctor says some crazy ass shit. Then the, then, then the, then the, then the, the proper one could come and be like, that was quite provocative. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, cause it's like, cause that's what life is. It's like, yo, yeah. you can some crazy ass shit. But yeah. then it's like, Take it as a joke, you know. So then it's like right, right. Right. this other dude that understands. Yeah, it's like, yo, and, and then uh, <laughs> I love that, another bro. character that I don't know if I'm gonna do it 100, percent but I want to do it. It's like you know Tony Montana from Scarface. Yeah, yeah, of course. From Mateo Montana. I mean, like, stand up to my little friend, motherfucker. I don't fuck with you. Don't fuck with me, da-da. So then that's the motherfucker that's like, hey, I don't love fuck that. with me. Like, yeah. I don't fuck you up. Like, you want to come at me, bro? That's dope. Yeah. So then there's a different character. They all live on TikTok. And then it all turns into like music. That's the part I haven't figured out oh, completely okay. yet. Like, I gotcha. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. But that's a part of the process, and that's a part of this journey. So right Dude. now, I'm focus on the TikToks for these characters, yeah. having them be a thing, like getting the followings up, and then like bringing as many followers as possible to Instagram. Because I think at the end of the day, you know, like I've been pleasantly surprised by how many people like fuck with it, fuck with it. Like, yeah, like, yeah, how many bro. People like really connect to this. Mm-hmm. Like I've been, so my hope is that like as it transitions to music or as music is incorporated, people will fuck with it because it's like they fuck with the message, they fuck with the why, mm-hmm. because that's my whole entire thing. And so yeah, so that's what I'm up to. So that's what I'm up to, and it's just about making that happen. Yeah, you know? and it's about just having that laser focus, that like of not giving an absolute fuck, because that's how it's gonna happen. And yeah, I'm yeah. Mode to have that happen in my brain again, and that's that's where I'm at. If you guys like that video, make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe for anyone else you want to see. Guys, if you you have to go follow Matthew's stuff, I'll put his links down in the description below. Um, it's too funny, it's too good, man. We are really creative dude. I'm sure you guys learned a ton from this interview. But thank you guys so much for watching and tune in next time for episode four, which is coming out soon. Peace out, guys.